it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. Um, I want to do an off the mat of Squirt. I think he's so cute. And I know a lot of people do Nemo parties and so he would be a great accent um, character or even his own character um, just because he's perfectly drawn to be an off the mat character. So um, I'm deciding between this image and this image. Hopefully everyone's gonna agree with me and pick this one. <laughs> so just go, you know, I typed in Disney squirt. Um, so it's this image right here. Uh, let's insert the image and let's start working on it. So this is going to be an easy one. I think I don't know what size to make him, but the reason why I like him so much is I'm going to just make him a little bit bigger so we can see him. Um, what's great about him is you see how he's just broken up into sections, right? Like even his eyeball right here is one little piece. His face looks to be like kind of the biggest piece that we have here. It's debatable between this and this one, depending on, I think, how you place the image. But anyway, this, this whole, his whole face, not the eyes included, but just this green part can be 11 and a half inches wide, right? So that means, you know, 11, maybe another few inches here, another eight inches here, another a little bit here. He could be 30 inches without any seams. So let's see if he can be 30 inches. <laughs> let's type in 30 up here. And it will automatically, because it's a locked image, it will automatically change the height for you, okay? So let me uh, make this a little bit smaller so we don't have to scroll so much to see him. So at 30 inches, you can see um, he's totally in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the pieces that I'm worried about would be his face and his arm right here, okay? So let's look at these pieces. So that would be this one. And let's go to contour. So in contouring, we can remove the other pieces and see you know, how big of a piece we have, right? So let's hide all. So that leaves us the face right here, right? So I hid everything here. Let's see how big this piece is. So it's a little big. So it's 13 inches by 11. And the problem with it being more circular is that I can't rotate this image to change the dimensions very much, right? And I'm already kind of stretched <clears throat> at 11 inches here. So we're gonna have to make him smaller. So what you wanna do is, <clears throat> excuse me, you wanna select all and we're going to change it from 30 inches. Let's go down to 28 inches and see what we have, okay? So at 28 inches, now let's look at his face. So his face is 12.2 by 10. So that's something that we can work with because I think we can, so let's ungroup this whole thing. And I'm just gonna duplicate this for a second. I'm gonna leave the one image there, but let's look at this one, okay? So this is 12 inches by 10. So if I go and rotate this a little bit up like this, this is better, 11.9 by 10.6, right? So I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more, see if I have more room, 11.5 by 10.8. So again, I haven't done anything, right? We haven't sliced it, we haven't made it smaller. All we're doing is we're changing the dimensions by rotating it. Design space measures um, width, this, this um, length right here, by going taking the difference between the most left, which is right here, to the most right. So I can keep changing what's left and what's right, right? So I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more. 11.2 by 10.8. So now I know this can be cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I'm just gonna delete this for now. Let's go and check out the arm, okay? So back to this piece, let's go to contour. And now we want this piece and not this piece, right? So this piece is 11.7 by 6.5. Perfect, so we are totally fine with this image being 28 inches. So actually, let me save it. So squirt, 28 inches. And that's sort of how you can go about maximizing your, your images by looking at what's gonna be your most problematic piece and then making sure that that piece fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Because if that fit, if that piece fits, then all your other pieces will fit and will be seamless, right? Perfect. Okay, so now we need to get back all of our green pieces, right? So let's click on that contour 
and all you need to do is click hide all and then show all. All our pieces will come back. Okay, so 28 inches, he's gonna be golden. He's gonna be so good. Now we need to basically separate all our pieces out, right? So let's start by, so I'm gonna move that. So you see this right here? This is in one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna slice this one. So I'm gonna move this over so that we can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna bring in a square because right now the light green, everything is together as one image even though it's five separate pieces. So I need to separate them so that we can actually cut it, right? So let's move over here so you can see it on a clean slate. Here is our big green piece, right? Design Space is telling me it's one piece and the image is 25 inches by almost 17 inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this square, make it really big, okay? And we're going to slice out one piece at a time. So we're slicing out the fin right here. So I'm grabbing the green and my square and slicing. So when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So in our case, it's the light green and our square. You wanna make sure that whatever shape you're using, so in this case it's a square, we need to make sure that that piece, whatever one that we're separating from the rest of the image, is completely covered in the square and nothing else. So that way we can get rid of the slice results and now look at this piece. He's all by himself. <laughs> and he's 11.7 by 6.5. We will need to rotate him a little bit because it's gonna say we need to use a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock because this is past the 11.5 inch marker. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to how to um, make those changes when we do the make it screen. All right, so let's move that out of the way. We can still use the same square. I'm just gonna rotate the piece and now let's do, oops, I need to rotate it a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I'm like allergies, coughing. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, okay, I wanna rotate this square a little bit more. All right, so let's, so see how my square is touching this piece as well? It's okay as long as when I go to pick up the two pieces, I'm only picking up two images. So see my cursors up here? I'm going to click down on my mouse, right? I'm gonna grab the green and the square. So I didn't come anywhere close to this piece, so it only picked up these two items. And so, and I can slice, because it's not grayed out. So I'm gonna slice it, and this little guy over here will now be separated from the rest. So this piece I can just toss. I don't need the slice results. Um, and see, this piece is now separated. All right, so now this one, I'm gonna get this. So I'm gonna rotate this. And you see how I rotated it? But my square, this green part showing, which means it's not gonna be a good slice. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure this would work. See how it's completely covered in the square? So this will work. I'm gonna go straight down, grab the two items and slice. And I'm gonna just delete the square at this point. Remove that and see this little guy is now by himself. I'm gonna move it over. Now this piece right here, I'm gonna use contour because it's a little bit close and it's circular. It's gonna be difficult for me to get just either this piece or this piece in a shape by itself. So I'm gonna use contour to separate it. When you're using contouring to separate out pieces like this, then you, however many pieces you wanna separate it into, so in this case we wanna separate it into two pieces, we need two copies of this image. So you just go to duplicate. So here's our two copies, right? So our first one, we're gonna to go to contour and I'm going to click hide all and it hit everything over here, it just left me the face. Perfect. So here's my little face. Um, oh, because we made it smaller, okay. Um, all right, so this one, we're gonna go to contour and we're going to get rid of the face and leave just this piece right here. All right, 
there's our piece. So let's go back over here. And, so now we need to do it for every everything else. So let's see, what do we have here? We have the eyes. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's separate out this little circle. So let's um, duplicate this because I don't want to cut this on my Cricut mat like this because it's showing, it's, it has a lot of empty space. So in this case, I'm going to go to contour. I'm just going to get rid of this one. So here's the, the eyes. And then on this one, I just want that little ball, right? So let's go to contour. I'm going to click on this. I don't want this and I don't want this. And it leaves me with just the little ball. So perfect. All right, let's look at um, this little guy is fine. Let's see what else. Okay, with these, I would also slice these out because I just want to squeeze them all close together so that I could probably use scrap paper and um, be able to cut all of these. So I'm going to bring in a big square and make it really big. And I'm just going to slice out one flower at a time. Now I'm in a lot of, you know, traffic right here, right? So it's okay. All you need to do is just make sure that your cursor only picks up the flower and the square. And I'm going to slice. So when you, um, did that work? Okay. I'm gonna show you where we pick up more than two images, okay? So that way you can see what happens when you don't do this properly. All right, so here, I'm gonna move it over here, okay? And then I'm gonna move this square like this. But this time, I can make this work, but I'm gonna accidentally pick up more than two items, okay? So when I do this, you see how slicing is grayed out? I picked up more than two items, and I know I did. You can also tell because I picked up the square here, picked up the flowers, but let's see what else did I picked. I picked up actually four items. I picked up the dark brown and the black. All right, so let's see if I can pick up just the two items. Oops, nope. I think I can do it here. Nope, I still picked up too much. Okay, so, oh yeah, I see why. Okay, so let's move this out of the way um, now that you know what not to do. So let's turn this over. Let's get that flower in by itself, grab the two items, slice, and I'm actually going to make this one. I don't always make all my projects because um, I just show you in design space and then um, and not always make it. But this one I'm going to make. I think this one's going to be so pretty. All right, I'm going to flip this over, get this last flower, and let's go and slice. And we can get rid of the slice results. I don't think I've been getting rid of the slice results, right? All right, so we've got all that out of the way. We're good there. Okay, um, let's see what's left. Okay, so we've got, this little thing is already done. Okay, so the brown, the brown is one, two, three, four, five, five pieces, right? So let's make five total copies of this. So we have four, five. Okay, so let's go to contour. And the easiest thing is I always just do hide all. It leaves me the top piece, which is this fin. Okay, I'm good there. So here's my fin. Let's go to the next one, contour. Okay, hide all. But I want this piece, not this piece. Now this piece has this little thing. So we wanna make sure that that's in there so we have the cutouts. So here's my second piece. Let's go to contour and um, hide all. And I want the third piece, not the first piece. So here that is, okay. Then let's go to this one, contour, hide all. So I don't want the third or the fourth. The fourth is the little cutouts, right? So I want this piece. I don't want this piece. There's this guy. All right, we're down to the last one, contour. So I'm gonna click hide all, and I want this piece. I don't want this piece. Okay, but let's go back to this little guy. 
if you remember, let's go to contour. He has little indents for the flowers. So we can keep that in there and that will help us place everything. So we could do this. We could go down here and we can select all these slices. So it's gonna be part of our image. And I kind of like this because it just tells you where to put your flowers. And so that's kind of nice to not have to worry about making sure that they are um, nice and straight. But man, there are a lot of these pieces. Are you kidding me right now? Why are there so many? I don't even know what to make of that. What? All right, I'm just gonna go out, let's see. Yeah, that's enough to get us going. <laughs> I don't, we don't need all those indentations, right? Because the flower is one whole piece. So as long as you have one or two little indicators, that's gonna be enough. All right, so I think we have all our pieces. The only thing we have left is our background, right? So let's um, bring in a square and I'm gonna move everything so that we can see it better. All right, let's go into, let's move all this stuff. We'll move this back over here so we can see it. Let's move these two guys out of the way. All right, so here's our black background. It's 20, 28 inches across by almost <clears throat> 17 and a half inches. So obviously we cannot cut this on our Cricut, right? Um, so we're gonna slice them up into smaller pieces. We're gonna use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock which technically means we can't cut 12 by 12, we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches, so we're gonna cut 11 by 11. So what you wanna do is this square, you wanna go to your um, dimensions, the sizes up here, and change it to 11. And let's see, so he is 20 inches by 17. Okay, so basically <clears throat> we're gonna need three columns, because that's 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33. So that will cover the 28 inches. And then 11 plus 11 is 22, and that will cover this. So we're gonna have a grid of six squares, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. All right, put your first square down. It doesn't matter where, okay? We're gonna go to the position feature, and we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 3.028 becomes three, 1.25 becomes one. What we're telling Design Space is go over three units, down one unit, and that's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate this square. We're gonna put this one right below it, okay? Really close. If you put it really close, you don't have to do any math. You just have to round. So this, you're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 2.9 becomes three, 12.2 becomes 12, and there you have a set of flush squares, okay? So hit your shift key, grab the other square. So both squares are highlighted, duplicate. We're gonna put this set of flush squares by the first set. And if, again, if you put it close enough, you just have to round. So 14.1 becomes 14, 1.028 becomes one. So now you have four flush squares. You're gonna duplicate that second set. And did I duplicate? Okay, and put it over here and change this to 25 and one. Let me show you the math behind it. So this first square, right? It's at the X coordinate, which is the one running across, is at three. So three plus 11 is 14, and there's 14. 14 plus 11 is 25, there's 25. So that's how you know they're completely flushed, and so that's gonna give you a really nice seamless character. All right, so let's scroll down on our right-hand side panel and get our little guy, get our little background. Here he is. We're going to arrange and send to the front. Now we wanna make sure that we're not slicing small pieces, right? So we're slicing big pieces. And what I mean by that is something like this. This is something that you would not want to do, is this. Because you see when this cuts, you're gonna have a little piece, the fin is gonna be this little piece, this little piece, this piece, and this piece. There's no reason why you should have any little small pieces, right? So we wanna do something like, um, like this. This is not bad. 
So it's going to be in six pieces. You're going to have this piece right here, this piece right here. So they're all big pieces. I mean, this piece isn't that big, but there's nothing that we can do. It's going to be like that. So then that way we don't have super small pieces that we need to keep track of. All right. So let's start slicing this guy. Um, let's see if I can even move this up Then we don't have any slices in his body. Oops. Let's see there. I think that's good. All right. So let's grab the first square and the image and slice. Okay, grab this part. I'm just gonna make my way all the way around the image and slice him up. Don't worry about this. It's just a design space glitch. Let's grab this piece and slice. And I know I hit slice, but is it going? Okay, I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, slice, and then I'm gonna do this little guy right here. And then I'm gonna do this one. This is our last slice. And then I'm gonna zoom out just one more time. Okay, so now I'm gonna move all the pieces, okay? So here's our tail or our fin. Here's this piece. So see these, I mean, this is a big piece, almost, you know, 10 by 11 right here. Here. All right. So we can get rid of all of this. All right. And then you want to save it. I just, uh saving will turn or save as I'm just gonna save hopefully that doesn't all right so it's safe let's go to the make it screen so I can show you how to get around some of those big pieces that design space is gonna think we need a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock and mat all right so you're gonna get this little warning sign just click OK all right so this little thing um, hopefully you guys know this already but you can move things on the mat to make it a little bit more efficient, right? So this way, next time you have a lot left over to use on some other project. All right, let's look at our black pieces. So here's our black piece. Let's see if we can consolidate some of these pieces. Like this one can probably go on another one. So you click on the three dots, move object, and let's move him to this one. Confirm. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, this piece on this one, maybe we could, you know what? I think we can move this one. Click on the three dots and let's move it to this one. Okay, hold on, let's do this. There, see how that fits? All right, let's go back to this one. We can move this one, move object. Let's see, where can we move you? We can easily, oh, what happened? Click on the three dots, move object. All right, he can easily fit here. I'm just trying to see if we can do anything with this one. Well, let's just move him here. Okay. All right, so we got rid of uh, page five, so not bad. All right, let's look at our brown. So our brown, it's saying this piece is way too long, right? It's going all the way to the 12. All you need to do is move it over and scooch it. So now this will fit fine on a 12 by 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? So let's make sure that you move all these pieces though so that nothing's overlapping. But so you could technically cut this still or you can move this, right? If you don't have a 12 by 24 piece of 20, 12 by 24 mat, then let's move this object. We can move this. I don't think it will fit with this piece, but we can move it here. And why did my be okay there? Let's see if we can rotate this and make it work. I don't 
Okay, so this is not gonna, oh, oh wait, it does work. There, so that fits, this fits, it will be, don't worry that this is a 12 by 24 mat. Just put your 12 by 12 cardstock down on a 12 by 12 mat and it will cut fine. Okay, let's go on. These are our flowers. All right, so our same thing with the green, right? So this one, we can tilt it again. And so you can see, you, you won't have any troubles cutting that. This one, if you move it down, you should be fine. And then this guy, we can actually probably move. So let's click on this move object. Let's see if he will fit. We can move this down. So I always have 12 by 24 mats, even though I only use 12 by 12 cardstock. So, and the reason why is for things like this. So I could do this, right? And let's make sure this fits up here. And all I will do is I'll use my 12 by 24 mat, and then I will use two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. One sheet goes up to the 12 and one sheet goes below the 12. So this would cut fine. If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, the other thing that you should do then is you're gonna move everything on this bottom half onto a new mat. So you'll click on this, click on the three dots, move object, and we don't have another green mat for it to go onto. You can just click on new and keep the color, right? Confirm, and it'll give you a new mat there. So that's fine. We'll go back over here. If you still have this piece, let's see, this piece I think I can make fit up here. You just wanna make sure though that you don't, what you don't wanna do is not cut properly, right? And it gets cut off and then you gotta recut everything anyway. That's the worst part. All right, let me see if this can fit up here. I don't think I can get this to fit. It's close, but I can't. Okay, so just click on the three dots, move object. And I'm gonna move it to this one. I think it fit in here. Yes, okay. Um, let's go on. So this piece, I mean, I probably wouldn't have it like that. Maybe I would have it something like this. I don't know. It's such an odd shape. It doesn't matter. Um, here's his tongue and that's it. So he's really easy. He's going to look amazing. He's going to be seamless. He's huge, 28 inches. He'll be great on the, like party decor and for photos. And he's just going to look really, really cute. All right. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what other characters you want to see. Give me feedback, special requests. I'm here for that. All right. Thanks guys.